it's fun. And it gives you a sense of the past. So exciting, a packed subway platform as everyone was waiting for a trip back in time as a 1932 R1 train was about to roll into the 125th Street station. Howie Weber brought his seven-year-old grandson, Max, for this blast from the past. He has to look at the advertisements to see what stuff you can't even buy today. And I said, if we get really lucky, we'd be able to look out the front window like a kid when I was a kid. All aboard, a return to yesteryear, courtesy of the New York City Transit Museum. With just a swipe of a Metro card, everyone got to experience this R1 train on the 8th Avenue line as a holiday nostalgia treat. Considered modern for its time, this vintage subway train has rattan seats, paddle ceiling fans because there was no air conditioning, roll signs, and ads from the 1930s. I remember the Trains until 1979, then he retired. It's really cool because, um, like, this was 20th century and we're on the 21st century. And for those who didn't know, the term strap hanger really came from the straps that would be hanging down, but earlier subway cars had actual straps. This R1 subway train was actually in use from 1932 to 1977. So lots of us, like myself and James Elliott, remember it well. Fun times. Reminds me of the 70s. <laughs> Good times. The lighting, the seats, the, old, the whole experience, it's like a live, breathing thing. They don't make them like they used to. They certainly do not. <laughs> <laughs> the holiday nostalgia trains will roll through select New York City subway stations on Sundays through December 30th. 